Good morning everyone. I'm really excited today because I'm going to share with you the best question bank resource for the MRCOG part one exam. Now I remember when I was revising for my exam, uh, I really wanted a, a resource that's got all the various types of categories um, of questions within it. So I don't have to go through different textbooks and other question bank resources um, and to try and just fish out important content. Um, but you don't have that same problem because you do have a question bank resource that's got everything within it. And all you have to do is subscribe to it and start benefiting from this very useful resource. Um, the best thing about this resource is it's got about 4,000 single best answer questions, which um, the, if, I, if there was one advice I could give you about any MRCOG exam, especially the part one and two, is to do as many questions as you can. And 4,000 is definitely something that um, puts you at a, a very good start to uh, attempt the exam. OK, so for your MRCOG part one exam, you have two question papers, paper one, paper two. Both question papers are two and a half hours long and have 100 single best answer questions within them. So that's 200 questions per exam. So as you can see, all these questions are single best answer question format, um, which means you need to do lots and lots of practice with single best answer questions in order to tackle your exam in a successful manner. Right, so this is the resource that I have been talking about uh, and I'm so excited to share with you. It's called Master MRCOG. I would really advise you all to not even waste a single minute uh, and to go onto this website now and subscribe because it is so, so useful for your exam. Um, it's got all the different categories um, that, that, uh, that are going to be part of the exam as well. So Master MRCOG is, uh, is a question bank. Um, so you've got different sort of subscriptions for it, which I'll all go through. Um, in, a, in, in, in a few moments, I'll go through um, the kind of categories and the kind of um, exam help that it offers you. So stay tuned. Right, so for a start, it's got 4,000 single best answer questions. There's 10 year past papers also included. Um, it's updated, it's organized, it's categorized. It's got a user interface. It's also got a mobile app for Android users only. You can save and resume your um, your questions on, uh, you know, later um, if you needed to do so. You can work in different modes and they are timed as well, um, especially in the mock exams. Um, it mimics the real exam format. Um, so these all these uh, elements to this MRCOG um, question bank are quite crucial, actually, because when you are um, using a question bank resource, you don't want to be wasting your time um, on questions that don't even, um, you know, that they're not even similar to the real exam. You want to do things that are similar, that are likely to come up. And this is what this exam um, resource offers you. And that's why I so highly recommend it. OK, so this is the master MRCOG login page. Um, so you enter your username and password and log in. You then um, go on to the MRCOG part one questions. Now it breaks it down to the different categories, which is what I really love about this website, uh, because you will know that when you're revising for your MRCOG part one, um, you, you will have to revise in different categories. So for example, um, if I need a lot of help in anatomy, then it's important that I do lots of anatomy questions over and over again to be able to learn Learn, um, the stuff for the exam. Same thing, for example, for pharmacology. Uh, I might be quite 
um, I might find that subject very weak, um, which is why I want to do those questions more and more and keep doing them over and over again to be then able to practice them really well. Um, so it divides it into anatomy, um, physiology, biochemistry, pharmacology, microbiology, biology, pathology, statistics and immunology. And you can see that it's got um, the number of questions next to each category. So you can just click on it and start practicing, which is the beauty of this question bank resource. OK, so there's more categories like data interpretation, uh, clinical management, genetics, embryology, uh, biophysics, endocrinology. So you can see lots and lots and lots of categories with lots and lots and lots of questions, which is something I absolutely adore about this question bank resource. It's so easy to follow. You just have to all you have to do is click, 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 and you're on to where you need to be. You're not wasting time and you go directly onto the, the category that you need help with. And and and, the, um, and for the exam you'll have to do all all of these categories really, really well in order to excel in this exam. OK, so this is um, the screen that you get onto when you click into uh, one of the categories. So, for example, if you clicked onto genetics, um, you have a session one and session two. And each session has a different number of questions, uh, which, again, is very helpful because it breaks it down for you. Um, it's sometimes difficult to do the entire bulk of questions in one go. And that, to be honest, can be quite disheartening for yourself, um, especially if you're a high achiever like me. So having it broken down in different session means you can attempt one session at a time, get into um, and, and keep practicing those sessions over time again and again. OK, so here we go into um, one of the questions from anatomy, which reads regarding lymph drainage of the ovary. Where does the majority of lymph drain to? And it's got five uh, um, options. First one is external iliac lymph nodes, internal iliac lymph nodes, paraortic lymph nodes, uh, mesenteric nodes or inguinal lymph nodes. So um, it's asking you about uh, ovarian drainage. So once you've selected your answer, um, you you get you, you, you get told whether your answer was correct or not or incorrect straight away. But the the best thing is with an explanation, which is exactly what you need for the exam. You don't want to just be learning about the ovary. You also have to be learning about the fallopian tubes, for example, the uterus. Where does all this lymph drain to? So this is what this exam resource will, um, will, 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 will tell you. And I will show you that in the next screen. So you see, um, the the answer to this is the paraortic nodes, and it's saying it's correct, which is which is wonderful. But it'll also give us uh, an explanation. Here you go. This is where you're spending your money. So you what you when you're revising for your exam and you have a full time job to do, and you have family commitments and life commitments, you don't want to be wasting your time looking up. Where does this drain? Where does that drain? You want summary revision notes. So you have something you can go back onto time and time again to be able to revise it so it sticks in your head. You don't want to be wasting time looking up these things. And this is what this resource gives you. So you can see there's a really nice tabled uh, format where it's going through um, different parts of the, the, the pelvis and where exactly it drains. Um, so it's not just um, educating you about the ovary, it's educating you about the entire pelvis, which is what you need for the MRCOG exam. So if you went through those questions and there are explanations underneath, then, 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 then you will be absolutely fine for the exam. And and I might I really do 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 strongly recommend that do not waste your time um, by spending too long on just making notes. Use help from resources like this, 
which are already doing that for you, summarizing it, putting it in a format that's very easy to read, very easy to recall, and something you can come back onto time and time again. Okay, so here we go. We've now got mock exams as well. So apart from having it all categorized, um, it's important to know that in your exam, it will not be categorized. Obviously, I'm sure you know this. It'll just be a set of 100 questions. So the mock exam um, takes away that categorization and gets you into the exam format where you'll have a mixture of anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, physics, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it'll just be a set of those questions and that's what the mock exam does. So it's bringing all your learning together into what is likely to come up in the exam. And you've got lots of more questions that you can work, it, work with in a timed manner. And this slide just highlights um, that you have about 20 uh, mock exams, which is which is a lot of practice for you uh, before your exam. So how do you register? So if you go onto the Master MRCOG uh, website, um, then you've got different categories as to um, depending on the length of subscription you'd like. Um, so the recommended one, uh, and I do strongly recommend, is the six month uh, preparation. Anything less than that is not enough time. Anything more than that is, is, is unlikely to be very effective for you because that means that you're not taking your revision very seriously. But six months is the perfect time um, which in, in which you've got enough length of, um, of time to be able to go through that resource over and over and over again and just memorize the content from it. So the website has got some um, useful elements like frequently asked questions on there. So if you were stuck with something and you needed help, um, this this is your, um, uh, you know, your helpful resource. Um, look into it because there may be somebody who's already asked that question um, for you. So you don't have to go through the trouble of uh, of waiting for an answer. And what I really like about this resource is it also has a um, time count um, to the next exam. So you know exactly how many days you have got left. So you can work this out with, for example, if you had, I don't know, if you started using the resource and you had done 2000 questions and you still had 2000 questions left, you could you could work it out in your head that you know, depending on the number of days left, how quickly you had to go through that resource so you can do these questions over and over and over and over again. Um, so you've got a good grasp of them uh, and, and you're not losing out on time. So this question resource is trying to help you as much as they can. So not only with their content, they've also um, put um, times on there to say when is the next eligibility criteria to be submitted by, when do you have to submit your expression of interest by, when does the deadline for the exam registration close so that you don't miss those deadlines. Because I'm sure as you're aware, um, with lots of people trying to do the exam, um, the, the, the deadlines, uh, the, the last thing you want to be doing is miss a deadline for the registration and then have to wait um, for a very long time before you could re-register um, for the exam. Thank you so much for uh, listening. And um, as I said, do not waste a single minute on thinking over uh, which resource to buy. It's gone to the website, sign up for it for uh, part one um, and you will not be disappointed. I've personally trialed and tested the questions to see their relevance uh, and, and also how close they are to the real exam. And I can vouch for it that they are, are very similar to the real exam. Uh, and this is the kind of revision resource that you do need um, for your part one and don't waste money and time on other resources that are not uh, as good um, and 
and you just want to get onto one resource and practice and practice and practice over and over and over again um, and make some revision notes from this um, so that you're not wasting your time looking up the answers. Um, well, good luck with your revision. And if you have any questions or you want to clarify something, then don't um, hesitate and drop me a comment uh, down below and I will um, answer it as soon as I can. Um, thank you so much.